Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Today, APA is going to cook something very traditional with a lot of traditional flavor. Okay, I'm, APA is going to stir fry bihun. Uh, two of the major problems that most people are having with stir frying bihun is that number one, it is always not fluffy enough. That's number one. Number two, uh, they always, uh, at the end of the stir frying, the bihun already become broken off. Yeah. So today, I'm going to show you the way how to get around, how to solve these two problems. Make it fluffy, and at the same time, it will not break uh, into very short um, towards the end. Uh, and then I'm going to use some very traditional flavor. Three things. Number one, this is shallot. Okay, this is shallot. So this is very important. Uh, shallot oil. Shallot and shallot oil for this particular dish is very, very important. And then I have two, another two very traditional flavor, which is the dried shiitake mushroom. Uh, soak until it is softened and then you cut it into thin slices. Of course, don't forget to remove the central stem. Yeah? Uh, that can be quite chewy. And then I have some uh, dried shrimp. Just soak a little bit. Uh, actually, I only rinse it under water. And then uh, cook, roughly uh, give it a few chops. All right? So, and then some veggie. I have some julienne carrot, meaning the, the carrot cut thinly and also cabbage. And this is the water from the soaking of the shiitake mushroom just now. So there's basically two steps. The first step is to blanch the bihun. Prepare some boiling water. Make sure it is boiling. We can put in a little bit of, little bit of oil and a little bit of salt. This salt will actually help to pre-flavor uh, your bihun. Yeah? And the oil will prevent it from sticking. Put in the bihun. Count uh, 60 seconds. Okay, about 60 seconds. Then we are going to take it out. 60 seconds later, it will be about 80 or 90% cooked. But later, I'm going to put it into a um, container, a pot with a lid. So after you put it inside, it will actually continue cooking with the residue sheet inside the uh, bihun. Until it is almost fully cooked. All right? So by doing this way, you are going to get some really, really fluffy uh, bihun. Extremely fluffy. Almost 60 seconds. Get ready the pot. Sixty second done. Going to remove the bihun. So this is about eighty or ninety percent cook. So I put it into a pot and cover it with a lid. Let it continue simmer inside the pot for a couple of minutes while I prepare the other ingredient. Okay, you are going to first make some onion oil. That is very important. Give it some generous amount of oil, vegetable oil here. At least about two tablespoons. And we are going to saute the shallot. Okay, this is the small onion. Um, keep on stirring this for probably about 2-3 minutes until about um, about 40 or 50 percent of the onion start to turn a bit brownish. Don't wait until fully brownish. Just half of it turning brownish is more than enough. We will come back shortly. Okay, this is only about one minute plus. You can still you can see uh, you can see some of it already started to turn brownish. 
Don't use too high heat, yeah? And then I'm going to put in the dried shiitake mushroom and the dried shrimp. Oh, some, uh, the dried shiitake mushroom has been soaked until softened, yeah? Has been rehydrated. These three items give you the most classic grandmother's flavor. Go and try. You can use these three as a base to make many other things. <laughs> fry any noodles, even to fry some rice, fried bihun. It's going to taste really good. Ah, super fragrant, especially from the dried shrimp and shiitake mushroom. Then we can actually put in the, the veggie. By the way, if you are using a, a non-stick pot or non-stick wok like Appa is using right now, try to not to use too high heat. That is one way of uh, giving your non-stick a longer life lifespan. Okay, started to, the veggie started to soften a bit. We can actually put in some uh, flavor. I'm going to off the fire first. It's okay to off the fire whenever you are adding the seasoning so that you won't uh, burn, yeah? About one tablespoon of dark soya sauce. Uh, and I'm going to give it about one tablespoon of light soy sauce about one teaspoon of fish sauce if you some people doesn't like fish sauce then you don't have to put and put some salt inside now we are going to season the broth before you put in before you add in the bihun okay then your flavor your your seasoning on the bihun will be very evenly done I also added in a little bit of sugar. Now I can on the heat again. Ah, super fragrant. This is the time where you can you need to add some broth first. I'm, I'm using the water I use for my shiitake mushroom. Always learn how to reuse our resources. Right. Now, let's prepare our bihun. Okay, as you can see from here, our bihun is here and uh, you want to you get a scissor. You want to get a scissor to make a few cuts. Just like that. Okay. To uh, make it easier to stir fry. Woo, very hot. And you can actually tell the bihun is actually very fluffy. See? So we just want, now we are just want the bihun to slowly soak out all the nice flavor from all the veggie and ingredient. Once this is fully soak out the broth, oops, then it is almost done. So 
All right. It's almost done. I'm just going to do some final, a little bit, some final seasoning here. So what am I going to put? Lower the water, uh, the level of the fire a bit. I'm going to put in some onion oil. Okay, this is garlic. <laughs> almost took it wrongly. This is my onion oil. I always have extra onion oil at home. Just about one teaspoon of onion oil and few dashes of white pepper and it is done. Our very nice fried bihun is done and you will notice it is super fluffy number one. Number two it did not break into very short pieces and it's super super fragrant done So here's Appa fried bihun today, your very very classic style. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.